how have you been welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel we say this is home for all welcome once again so with me i have a very interesting video but before then thank you so much i want to thank you so 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 much so honestly so much from the deepest part of my heart because of watching my videos liking commenting i have done this is my third video so far <laughs> going on well and i know with time we will get to know each other we will get to interact we will get to do more of this and this is a home for all as i have said hapa ni moto ya kuotea ba ndio hatuna mambo mengine tunafanya huko kado yeah so i hope you all prepared for this amazing uh, topic and it's about the things i wish i knew before moving out okay moving out of where my mother's house that is the safest place you can ever be <laughs> let's go being at your mom's house is the safest place you can ever be but honestly you only live okay. once higher so the first and the biggest challenge or thing that i wish i knew before i moved out is financial independence i'm a financial responsibility i don't know come at the same point but i know anything to do with finance is one big monster you know so mbona ninasema i wish i knew yes i know ukitoka kwa nyumba mama yako you are the one who is responsible of everything else that concerns you right kwanza ukitoka because of uh, maybe you want freedom na vitu kama hizo zenye mnatoka na ziago but nazataka kuambia that is kufikiria tunakuona tukifikiria it is not set ni kawaida set <laughs> Siati ni ni kujua tunakonga tukujua we do not know like ukitoka ukasema ti oh yes i can do this you know it's only paying the rent it's only buying food you know sometimes it's way beyond and uh, sometimes it really exhausts not sometimes not sometimes most of the time like all the time in exhaust in at your kesha like hey so ngine nakanga vichi nasema why 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 didn't i even ask before we talk eh is that baba bangu lady how do you handle loans how do you have handle like you have loans center left right na set ni ni nini unajua mko na fikiria you know how to use money but at the end of the day unapata you have spend more than you earn so you have to ask for money or borrow money from elsewhere ndio uweze ku sustain but brother sister oh gosh you know na hasi ukitoka kwenye uko na kitu nakwanga ukijua huko nje character development and everything ikichanganyishiwa something i wish i knew ni how to handle like people of this kind or how to live with people wenye hawajali mambo ya watu so me i'm all over saying hi salamu kama mlo nje wewe mimi honestly i am all over saying hi but i'm saying hi to people who don't yeah you know like <laughs> Sasa wewe kuna siku ningeenda job where i go me work like job yangu ni okay i do sales so ni fanya sales definitely i have to have that sales taught me kukuwa mtu wa watu and so sales taught me salamu hiyo respect ya watu ni nini so huku people don't care when they go do your business then you're out of that place ukisha nimeliana si nimesha maliza na that's it huku so mimi ninaenda kwa customer i'm like hey aba yako ati ama hey ati how are you nini nini mtu akwa like um sina wala you know people are hostile like what huko hawana nini people they don't have that so that is what i'm talking about social 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 behavior or what say and another thing that will add up to that i wish i knew making friends oh my god kwanza a new place is something way beyond i wish i knew it's six months now it's almost six months now tunaweza imwezi tunamaliza the six months 
na mie naweza kuambia ni no vile my friend let me tell you maina girlfriend know that i'm not so sure it's because people like i had said before what to how i am like it's something that we thought ama we think it's something that is common kusalimiana kujuana to make friends but trust me it's not a common thing hiyo si vinye nilikuja huko that's what when i knew that this is not kawaida sio lazima sio lazima and it's so bad so bad so bad to me another thing i wish i knew it's how uh, to maintain yourself let me say as a woman sana sana because i am a woman i don't know about men i won't talk about what i don't know so i am talking about what i know <laughs> maintaining yourself definitely is something that is out and beyond and it really takes a lot a lot a lot if you are going maintaining yourself is not hard and i wish i knew ivo nikitoka because i would have kept that in mind so nikikuja this is a whole new thing kuna mimi nafaa kujiangalia nafaa ku maintain my pocket nafaa ku maintain okay i should have a life definitely what i'm saying in short what i'm trying to say huko <laughs> nje sometimes you find like you do not have that life you do not have a life a life is a life comprises comprise eh hey, comprehend yes of a lot of things right kuna hiyo wewe your own free time your own free time that mostly we do not have as kenyans kenya tumefika hata tunanga free time because of everything is like hey white brother sister oh gosh you know nothing ukitoka kwenye ukona vitu vya kwanza ukijua huko nje character development and everything ikichanganyishiwa tu hivi hey yeah 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 manze everything is like a set and uh, kila kitu inakuanga like ina turning south and you're wondering why a lot of mimi aki guy you wondering why people go back home me don't judge ukiona mtu ametoka kwao mwaka moja mbili ame rudi kwao please don't judge <laughs> life out here sio mama ya mtu <laughs> I'm telling you unaona ile ile tunaambia ngo usipofunzwa na mama yako hufunzwa na ulimwengu now get to eat ndio utajua what burdens you kwanza that's the biggest issue by the way finance finance spending or oh, earning nini that is the biggest honestly it is the biggest challenge that you can ever ever come across me sijui i don't know but i know that is me hiyo ndio challenge yangu okay yangu yetu kubwa sana okay so another thing in social behavior and um, social behavior like behavior what is this society like like ukitoka huko nje you do not know like maybe ukikaa kwenu you thought everyone is good everyone is accommodating you know ukipatana na mtu they are going to say hi they are just friendly but babes you are wrong <laughs> babe hapo ndo tunasemanga fuzi mix love na vitu vingine you know <laughs> honestly it is tough huko nje people are not bothered they don't care like it's your life babe do it how you thought you will do it ukikuja but then it's true honestly nikiambia kweli mimi where i live where i live people don't care like they don't care who came who, who's new like unaza ile nyo unaonanga like let's say unaona kwenu kwenu home kuna ile sema kama you blessed nimejenga mahali kwenu mahali kuko like aka community of people unaonanga like wale mama wale wazee wanataka kujua hey nani yule amehamia hapo anataka you see ni mimi nasikia wakiongea wanataka kugawa cha friendly community kitu fulani like sana sana tu ushago acha tuongee ni watu tumetoka ushago ushago kuna kuanga na hiyo ka unity like wewe umezoea that you're new somewhere you're welcome don't say unapewa kacha na nani huko nje he 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 hakuna kitu kama hiyo honestly there's nothing like that so social behavior ya watu it's not as you thought ukitoka kwenu so something i wish i knew ni 
how to handle like people of this kind or how to live with people when you have a journey mambo ya watu. I'm all over saying hi filomo kama mlunje. Well, we maybe honestly I am all over saying hi but I'm saying hi to people who don't yeah you know like sasa mbeko na skin ngenda job where I go me work like job yangu ni okay I do sales so ni fine okay, you want money you want everything but you are you not in a position to get what you want because time is limited and everything is a uh, oh god I don't know what to say kuna hiyo time your own time like resting time you should have that resting time you should also have time to go places kama wewe ni mtu wako kama you're an extrovert mimi i know I'm, I'm supposed to be an extrovert but nowadays life is turning me into an introvert ways that i can't explain so kama you're an extrovert you really need time kwenda ku bond na watu ku socialize out there ku nini you know free time go eat hata enda kule kitu changu si la si kila saa kufika ugali na mboga kwa nyumba you know it is that is one thing that i didn't know and I, i i really i really didn't picture that it can have an impact you see sikuwa najua kitu kitakuja kwenye sumbua ati how to maintain myself so mostly nikae kwa nyumba nipige nipige simu mbili tatu hata napigia watu wenye wako busy so you, you don't even have people to call anymore guy adulting adulthood is a scam whoever didn't teach us about adulthood adult adulting guy is an adult shindo shindo <laughs> whoever didn't teach us about adulting did us wrong man we haki muni to kosa ya muni to kosa i wish it was a lesson tukiwa shule because we we because we why <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so that is uh tumeongelea financial responsibility or financial uh, whatever na kuna hiyo social behavior kuna hiyo self maintenance which is Jesus but anyway the good thing is that we are trying ah we are trying 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 haya another thing is what you should okay what i wish i did before moving out i wish i did my own research I'm a background research of where I was coming definitely I knew where my next job was so I wish I knew I wish I knew before coming to this exactly place and this exact place I wish I knew how this place is hiyo mambo ya hostility nini nini ningeweza hadi ku you could unaweza kabiliana nayo I just said kabiliana guys uluya 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 So <laughs> unaweza kabiliana nayo. Yes, you can handle. Unaweza handle if only you knew. If only I knew like I could have handled it better if only I knew what kind of people that what kind of people I'm going to to find here. Yes. That is uh, I wish I did my research background before coming. Yeah, or before moving out ama kufika mahio. Kuna another thing that we do not know mostly i want to say tukitok <laughs> mostly tukitoka nyumbani tunakwanga tukitoka kwa sababu ya nini i want a girl i know tv mkono aniambie ametokana kwa sababu ya i know i kipigo maswali mimi sidai na sijui nimekuwa mtu mzima nilikuwa na id what is an id baby girl what is an id Honestly it is it is not fair. Usiwe toka nyumbani atakata nini. Do not give any freedom. No, sumbua nini au mzazi wewe toka rudi jioni sumbua nini kabisa? Sumbua nini hadi akufunge. Lakini usi decide kutoka peke yako kama you are not well planned. Hujajipanga tirizo yako ni freedom. Kutoka nyumbani no, don't let it happen. Please, 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 please. Take it from me. Me no. I, I I once had done that. I once had did that. I once did that. Please, usitoke nyumbani <laughs> kwa sababu unataka freedom. Eh, yeah. kama tuko Kenya na bado tuko na freedom na tuko sorry tuko Kenya, tutoka Kenya sisi wote. So, you should know by the way that's not a reason. Ati kutoka nyumbani that's not a valid. To me that's not a valid reason. Cancel. Nimekata. So, yeah. That's it.
another thing is to like make sure make sure what you have can sustain you like if only ile ya marangu ya kwanza kabisa ningekuwa najua pesa niliko nayo niweza so i will tell you the very first time nilikwanga nyumbani was with time so again i don't judge people who come back from like who come back who come home back who come i don't judge people who come back home like uki uki lemona maisha please enda kwenu enda kwenu enda kwenu babes juni kwa karibu kukwambia why you should go home na kumbuka the first time we we moving out it was when okay after college no covid no before covid yeah i moved out and i thought why did i move out okay niki move out i didn't have a job definitely so i was going to live with a friend yeah I thought could after kazi ni rahisi you know I thought that that's what my head was telling me so nitapata tu kazi but definitely I found a job nitapata a job tao but now the problem was nilishatoka nyumbani nimepata job tao niko makongeni okay it is not a permanent job ilikuwa a casual so hesabu yangu ni pesa nyana lipo ha so it's a casual so si lazima ni nipe daily but definitely god god was good i mean nilisema kwa god god has always been good to me seriously nianze complain because your job at least nilifanya i did it for some time i did it for some time yeah we were getting paid like the money i'm getting paid kwa na lipo weekly nikilipwa ninajua kwa ninatoa pia ya the whole week well doesn't sound so bad ninatoa fare ya every week what i was not knowing or what i didn't know ni kwa hiyo fare kuna pesa nafaa kutoa i was living with, the, with my sister pia we were living with my friend my sister and my sister okay both of them are my sisters now although she's a friend who became my sister so i was living with my sisters let me say that living with my sisters so kitu siwa na journey i didn't know it would be hard unaweza nilikuwa na kitu siwa na journey I didn't know it would be hard. Unaweza nilikuwa naanga tu ah si nikuishi tu like honestly you are expected to do much kama hukai kwako because baby girl you are not living in your house so lazima hata wewe cheating on other things. Sio ati juu maybe that sister of mine alikuwa shule so alikuwa na the house was being paid by the mom so but ile tu courtesy and all definitely we won't be asking for mamake hatu ndio kwa tunamwitisha everything at food nini nini but most of the time she used to buy but at least but you see the money that i was getting it wasn't much and this is the person i kwa napata ikuwa mom so ni kidogo yenye tunapata tuna chip tuna nini nini but that time ningeambiwa hata ningekaa nyumbani nitafikia pesa nyumbani because una nyumbani i wouldn't have to buy food kwetu kwetu na kwani lazima buy food ni kwetu na buy bona yes you should but si lazima hapa penye umeenda kuishi you have to you know me i wish i knew i wish i knew that before your time now before the hammer and then covid now came i had to go back home and thank god i went home nikakaa nyumbani yote ya covid then i moved out tena <laughs> i moved out tena sasa 2021 after covid 2020 si ilikuwa the whole of 2020 ni kama ilikuwa tu i don't count like hiyo mwaka nikaa tu kufanya kitu 2020 that's 2021 now that's when i moved out again and all these things that i'm telling you i wish i knew tena i wish i knew them tena afresh <laughs> i wish i knew them tena afresh because of where <laughs> so another thing is uh expectations please when you're going out don't imagine kila mtu anasemanga tu by this man i'll have bought a fridge i'll buy bought a tv i'll have punguza expectation mami punguza ex- expectations you know why those things are going to bring even depression and everything that comes along with depression and is of the water because utapata you want to live like someone you saw you want to live like someone you want you, you want like you know babe go with your own taste yeye ndo kitumaza by the way nilikuwa unaanza mimi nilikuwa nanganga nasema eh unaweza taka you know in ile to it's not like bad sio vibaya but it is good to 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 see times to understand wakorinido wakorinido wakorosai what is this book ecclesiastics 
ilisema inasemanga everything has its own time like there is time for this and there is time for that so let us know time let us identify times and seasons that is the only thing that is going to save us by the way in generation to spot, understand times and seasons by the way tunakufa kama hivi because of depression because of this yeah and doing things that are, are not even helpful in your place that you to be in that place that you want to be where you want to be and you're forgetting my sister my brother that god's time is always the best and in on in his own time he is going to make everything perfect you know and beautiful so what you need to say to, to, to let us not not another thing it is emotional support you ukitoka it is you and you alone hauna mtu wa kurejea it's your blankets and your by the way emotional support which is really damaging and really 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 bad kwa sababu inakufanyanga ukae ni kama you you're losing it manze every time like ukiwa hapa unatoa nikiwa hapa hivi peke yangu i am it is easy it is easy in feeling na lose kuliko i, I wouldn't feel the small things the, the, the baby steps that i'm making nitakuwa tunaona the failures unajua alafu kuna definitely if you don't have someone to talk to definitely uko na hiyo emotional breakdown uko na oh my god please when you are moving out of your houses or your mother's houses kindly take it from me that you really need to know that emotionally you're alone okay it's you and your god but you can go that one better way better so by the way it is it is by the way true it is draining it's emotional draining kuka kutoka nyumbani kutoka peke yako bila wewe i mean kuishi peke yako yep another thing is um the, the last thing the last thing the last last thing the last point is to master i wish i knew i wish i knew yeah <laughs> i wish i knew vile i can handle stress i knew i wish i knew how to handle stress ama i wish someone taught me how to handle stress when you're alone <sighs> yeah in another two it's it goes hand in hand it goes hand in hand with your volunteer emotional damage or my emotional yeah if i knew how to handle stress earlier definitely in get for somewhere you know so a lot of us that were stressed ni machozi that were stressed ni kulia you will sleep the whole day and you're forgetting you're losing mo na potesa your 24 hours when you're sleeping <laughs> any motivational speaker when you're sleeping by the way it is it is uh, oh god i don't know what to say but honestly let us focus first before moving out of our parents home kama bado uko home just to know must i ask yourself must i kama ni situational well and good just know you really need to have people around you when you are to coach na watakwambia vile life change iko yeah especially so yesterday tumesema ya kutoka home ya freedom machana nayo kabisa mam machana nayo baba just leave that one alone kabisa 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 achana nayo so that's what i had for today i hope we have learned something tulisema huku ni kusoma kukula kulala everything like we do everything here and i am so grateful that you are part of this channel next time please 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 tell a friend to tell a friend ndio at least tusaidiane hii maisha nikisoma leo unasoma kesho so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here i don't take it for granted honestly i do not honestly i pray that god the god that sees let take it for granted honestly i do not honestly i pray that god the god that sees bless you says it too much mungu akubariki and let's keep encouraging each other and you know doing all these things like share subscribe ikikusaidia please saidia mwingine right tufanye hivyo na tusaidiane to grow to grow pamoja i love you so much and may god bless you me our good god honestly ile kutoka from the deepest part of my heart may our good god bless you Bye.